A major development in a three-week-old conflict in Ethiopia to share with you right now. The government says troops have taken full control of a northern region that was previously held by rebels. Our Dominic Velaitis brings us the very latest. In a statement released on Twitter, Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed declared that military operations in Tigray region were over and that the capital, Mekele, was now under government control after more than three weeks of conflict with the Tigray People's Liberation Front, the TPLF. Ahmed has now ordered federal police to start rounding up the group's leadership, he says, uh, to bring them to court for prosecution. We're told there will also be a humanitarian drive to help the thousands of refugees currently in Sudan return to their homes, and efforts will be made to rebuild and repair the damage caused by all the fighting. So mission accomplished, according to Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. A very different tone from the TPLF, though. We have heard again from the group's leader today, although in hiding, Debrechen Gebre Michael has been in contact with the Reuters news agency via text message. And although he did not comment specifically about the situation on the ground, he vowed the TPLF would continue fighting to the very last. The group has a history of guerrilla resistance. Tigray's mountainous terrain and borders with Sudan and Eritrea helped it take on the Marxist dictator Mengisto Haile Mariam, whom it eventually toppled in 1991. And analysts believe the group may once again head into the mountains and launch a guerrilla campaign, an insurgency against Ethiopian government forces. Dominic Velaitis, CBC News, Bristol, England.